first out of character question uh have you ever played a game on a live stream besides fioras um <clears throat> i think i think the answer is like technically no <laughs> i've i've streamed a few times but i've never i've never actually been a player i've always been the uh the dm for uh for stuff that i've streamed before um so it's a i know it's a little bit different um some similarities though but That's also fine. never this, never this... to a big never to a big audience so this is just to gather your experience um yeah are you willing to use a webcam for the stream we will provide one if you need one uh, I have access to a webcam. I'm not sure how good it is. Um, it's it's what I've been using for uh, for Zoom calls for teaching and stuff. So. And what is your favorite D and D module or dungeon? Um. So my my probably go to favorite is um, uh, Red Hand of Doom. Uh, Red Hand of Doom is like an old uh, three five module that's been ported into four E and. Um, I think they even have a fifth edition version of it as well. I've actually, um, I've actually played that one. Red Hand is awesome. Yeah, no, it's it's one of the most. Uh, I think it's probably one of the like top ten like most popular uh, three five um, modules. <clears throat> but it's like, it's just really cool because it has like a very open world structure. Like everything is all contained within a little valley, right? And there's all these different factions inside of the valley and so like the players have a lot of uh freedom of choice to uh roam around and make alliances and fight monsters you know they can kind of just go about their business and also there's like a really neat kind of the very beginning at least of red hand the first act one is very like time sensitive too so it like gives a sense of urgency to the game so i i really enjoy that one i've i've actually i've played in it and i've run it before and and from both sides it's it's really cool i think it's my only problem with the red hand of doom is that it starts at level six so we, so for for me that's like we're gonna go play five levels of something else first this is not something you can just open up and start with yeah i mean if you have if you have like new players or players that that want to want to develop a character from level one then yeah definitely not like the the go-to i'd go for like uh like keep on the borderlands or something like that for like a level one starter uh, i think that's a really really another classic but like a really good one anyway um so my name is uh my, my name is my name is grizzled i will uh, be setting up the 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 uh illusion capture and and taking all the notes so here we go uh, crystals in place record button yes 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 that's on uh notepads and six notepads level up uh levitate up and Suddenly have pins on them, all scribbling things that are happening, the different things that are happening from different perspectives. She takes out her own notepad and starts scribbling. Whenever you wish to begin, Master. Oh! <clears throat> yes, I am Lord Boroman Irdain of the We Found, sorry, We Find a Foundation. I created this for the exclusive adventures. For anywhere between dangerous and exotic, and even some of the mundane inventors around Old Eberron, you are here because you were specifically invited. So, I recommend you have a seat and let me know what your name is. Uh, Eucharist, uh does multiple bows, and um, uh, he's obviously nervous and isn't... Uh, <clears throat> isn't um so sure of himself and he timidly uh comes in and plops himself down into a uh into a seat that has been offered to him and he says i i am um i am eucharist and i i i am glad to be here yes perfect so then <clears throat> we now we shall begin so first question for you is is there something that you seek or some sort of um accomplishment that you would like to do oh uh well mm, i i like helping uh, i i i I'm good at helping and i i i help you i help i help others uh, i i'm not I'm not hero. I, but I, I help heroes. Yes. I, I want to make things better for others with, with my skills. Oh, I see. So, 
Speaking of skills, what are you? What's your vocation? What are you good at doing? Uh, I, I, I make, I make things, many things, small things, big things. Sometimes, mostly small, though. I, uh, I have, I have tools, and I, I can use them to fix things or um, freeze things. Uh, I have things that uh, can can repair or detect, or oh, I'm good at detect. All right, fair enough. So, <clears throat> what are you doing in Thrain, per se? Oh, <laughs> well, it somewhat long story. I I used to work on airship. Yes, yes, you know, big flies. Very, very good, but uh, hard, hard work. I am very small, and they like to use me for moving in small spaces. And there are many small spaces in airship that need cleaning and greasing and things, yes. So that this is what I do. But, <laughs> well, sometimes I, I, when I like people, I talk too much and they do not like. So here I am and they kick me out. Oh, I see. So <clears throat> if, if, well, it sounds like you enjoy crafting and working on things. If you could do something else with your life, what would you do? Oh, something, something else. If, hmm. If, if I could do anything else, I would make toys. Yes make toys. I think that toys are nice and not enough people like small things that are complex, but complex can be beautiful and fun. And I would make toys for, for the small ones. Hmm. Interesting. A bit of a noble cause there. All right, then. <clears throat> so let's get to something a bit more gritty. Um, you are in a position where you have to slay a human. How would you do that? Oh, uh, well, I, um, I don't, I don't know. I have, I have fought before, but never, uh, never kill unless it, you know, an animal for, for food. But to kill human is different i oh maybe my crossbow oh that's nasty or my spells uh freeze to death bad though oh i maybe just dagger make it quick though ah, well th there are multiple ways of making it quick um you know jerk of the neck or oh back of the head, you know, there's many things. All right, we'll, we'll get to that later. So you had mentioned that you've killed creatures before. So <clears throat> what would you do if you were fighting an immense lizard? Not a dragon, mind you. A gigantic oh, creature. Yes, yeah, about the building size. But I want you to imagine that you were incredibly powerful, like the most grandest mm. of wizards. How would you destroy this great creature? Oh. I have to destroy? Yes. Mm. Oh. I... Mm. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, I have heard of great, great artificers, and they have many contraptions and things, and I have heard of one that is the beam of disintegration, and that seems fast, so I would use that. I would make one, and I would use that. Ah, you would disintegrate the massive beast into nothing but powder. Interesting. I, I hope just powder. That would be better than alternatives. <laughs> hmm, very true. So, as uh, you are a kobold, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I understand that most kobolds tend to service dragons and things. Is there anyone that you serve? Oh, no. Um, 
not not so not so lucky. No, no, no. I uh I I worship though the the great dragon Eberron. Ah, interesting. So why do you worship Eberron? Eberron is kind. He saved everything by stopping bad dragons. Yes. So I I like that. I think kindness deserves reward. Hmm. So I worship. Fair enough. <clears throat> so what specifically motivates you? I mean, do you want to get a lot of money? Do you want political power, your reputation? Um, why do you do what you do? Oh, well, I like, I like going places and there is, there is so much here in, in this place that, that no one knows. There are civilizations that come before and then disappear. Uh, there is even civilizations now that just, just recently was destroyed by, well, you, you know, and that that is it is fascinating there is so much to to learn and to see and and people to meet and that is exciting so this is why i i go is because there is all of this ah, interesting <clears throat> a corporal of my own heart i'm an adventurer myself well, i was so i understand how that works yes yes um is there something important to you that if you lost it, it would make you lose your motivation? Oh, um, oh, I have many, I have not many things. Uh, I, I, if, if I lose, I, I make again, but I, I am attached to some things. I, I like my, uh, he uh, he reaches into his um, into his pocket and uh, he withdraws from inside of it a little clockwork mouse which he holds in the palm of his hand very delicately and he gazes at it with uh, a, a deep fondness and he says this this I I, I make it friend uh, I, first first thing that I ever tinkered and this is him I would be very sad if something happened but. It is tinker. It is, it is meant for fun and for for good things. But if it goes away, it can be made again. It's not so bad. Hmm. All right, then. Well, let, let's look at something a bit that might be grisly. So, I would like you to imagine if you were about, if you were going to die. Oh, how would you like it to happen? Like, Ooh. where would it happen? Why would it happen? What would you like to see? What would you like those around you to see as your final moments? Oh, uh, asleep in bed? <laughs> oh, no, wouldn't be so lucky. I don't think that there are, uh, what is, what is words? There are, uh, bold adventurers and old adventurers, but no old bold adventurers, yes. <laughs> it is the same with kobolds. So, uh, last thing. He uh, seems obviously nervous by this, and he kind of like brings in this uh, this clockwork mouse and is kind of like petting at its ears as he uh, contemplates his mortality for a moment. And uh, then, then he says, perhaps uh, saving others. If if my death had meaning, if if I die and others escape, that that would be good. Ah, oh, so a, a sacrificial thing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I am. Fair. I am kobold. I I am small. Not not so important. Others may be more important, and if I could protect other more important, then it would be good. <laughs> You see him kind of hobble on his cane a bit as he gets up, and you're noticing he's a halfling, and the left side of him is decrepit. Um, he's about three and a half feet tall. Just because you're small does not mean 
you're any less important than anything else. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, this is no no offense, but this is this has not been my experience. I I sorry. Hmm. No problem. Well, let's let's make things a bit more happy. What's your favorite food? Oh, worms. Yes, very good. <laughs> oh, why do you enjoy them? Oh, they squish. It's very nice. Uh, you can cook them to good protein. Yes. Hmm. Very true. Is there a type of food that you that you hate? Pickles. Oh, pickles. Bad. Sour. Oh, why why would you like sour? Oh, salty too. Oh, dehydrates. Uh. Hmm. Fair enough. So, <clears throat> has have you been somewhere or had something happen to you that, or something happened in a place that you'd never want to go back to? Uh, Eucris um, obviously reacts to this moment, and he obviously has something in, in his head that he uh, contemplates for like a good long moment there as he kind of stares uh, past you. And um, then he says, well, yeah, yes, uh, there are places I, I cannot go back to. Would you care to elaborate? Oh, yes, yes. Um, well... Um, when I was small pup, I, I was part of a tribe. We worked together, everything together. That is how tribe is, yes. And, well, tribe always decides certain things, M must be certain way, yes. And this certain way also meant that intruders or others, outsiders, were not to come to our dens or warrens. And sometimes others would come to dens and warrens and we had to fight. But this is way of world, yes. So not so strange, but I did not like to kill others, not without need or cause. They wander in sometimes in accident. We have big caves that are attached to even bigger caves. Sometimes creatures, monsters, people would wander in. They not know we here, but in our territories, we we scare them away. We kill them. I I did not always do job. I sometimes let them go. I sometimes shoo them away instead of into the traps. They did not like this, and so uh, after this happened, I was outcast, and I cannot go back. Oh, I see. All right. Well, is there anything else you've done in your life that you regret that you'd wish to share? Oh, oh. He uh, he considers this for for a, a long moment, and he says, "Maybe, maybe stand up for self more. I not so good at that, and uh, it been hard. It it is hard to be taken advantage of, uh, but it happens to me a lot. It is hard to say no sometimes because I just want." others to appreciate me so i say yes to things maybe i shouldn't say yes to <laughs> oh many times yes i see <clears throat> is there anything that you're afraid of being alone yes ah. kobold is part of tribe this is how we are meant to be and so to be cast out of tribe is hard and I search for new tribe, new new family, but this is rarer than rarer than one would think. Hmm. All right. Well I have another question for you. So you said you serve Eberron, correct? Oh uh, yes, yes. I would like you to imagine you got to meet Eberron. Oh shiny. And 
traveling there were you with your new family, uh, your new adventuring party, a new tribe. It was a couple of them. You've been traveling with them for a couple of years. Um, what would you do in a situation where Eberron needed your help, but you had to choose? If you help Eberron, your friends die. But if you help your friends, Eberron dies. Oh. He uh, kind of twists his little, little feet in on him, on themselves and looks down at them uh, and has to contemplate this for, for a long time. Um, he reaches up to the bridge of his nose and he pops off his little goggles and kind of like cleans them absentmindedly. And he says, friends, people have always come and go, but Eberron, always there in here and he taps his little chest and then he pops his goggles back on he says i i suppose if the great great dragon god asked i would do anything hmm. all right i see that so another question that you <clears throat> i might you might find interesting a bit on a happier note if you can be anything besides a kobold what would you be oh hmm Anything. Anything? 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 Dragon. <laughs> Easy, dragon. <laughs> you you see dragon? You know what you know what dragons have? Big power cannot be ignored. This is good. People listen to dragon when dragons speak. When dragon talk, world shakes. Dragon would be good. Yes. I would be nice. Only eat sheep sometimes. Sometimes. All right, that's fair. So next question would be. In your wildest dreams, have you ever met someone in your dreams that you loved? Uh, Euchris, like his face, like screws up for a second as he like considers this, and then he says, "Uh, Euchris, not sure Euchris worked that way. <laughs> I, I don't know. I." I have so few friends or even acquaintance. I I don't know. I do not dream of, of things like this. It is... I desire smaller things, smaller relationships. Love is complicated, messy. I see on airships, fights and quarrels and things. Hmm. All right, then. So... My next question would be, um, is there any piece of equipment that you one day wish to possess? Something you've seen that you've Ooh. wanted? Hmm. I have been many places on, on airship. I have seen many things. Do you know of Tinker Vi? She is well-known, great tinker, planeswalker. You heard of her, maybe? Sounds familiar. Describe her for me. Mm. Older halfling, big hair, red. Uh, very to-the-point, sharp woman. Impressive. She has many, many things that are treasures, artifacts, uh, her favorite, though, I saw it in use one time. It was gun, but it shot many things, not just for hurting, but for helping. Friend hurt on ground, aim, fire, they get up. Enemy across, aim, fire, they fall down. Very, very interesting. Always wondered how it worked. Mm, interesting. And on the same way... Is there any type of magical equipment that you've ever wanted besides the gun? Oh, uh, well, he uh, he pulls the uh, the goggles off of his head and he looks at them and he says, "Would be very nice to have dark goggles, sunlight very bright, sometimes hard to see. <laughs> that would be good." Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. So my next question would be to you. Um, you're familiar with what a curse is, correct? 
Uh, yes, yes. Ah, what if you had to have a curse? What would it be? Any, any curse? Yes. Hmm. Ooh. Should pick good one or boring one. Hmm. Lycanthropy. Yes, this sounds fun. Ah, what animal would you Ooh. choose? Ooh, something big. Can I choose dragon? I choose uh, dragon. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think a dragon is a lycanthrope, but I understand you, sentiment. You, you, Chris is giggling and he says, oh, I, I know, I know. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, perhaps wolf. Wolf good. I like wolf. Wolves strong. They have pack. You, Chris, appreciate this. Let's see here. So I'm going to give you a situation and I want you to <sighs> tell me what you do in the situation. So <clears throat> let's use Eberron again. I would like you to imagine that you're trying to get into a temple for Eberron because there's an item inside of it that is used to help people. It's, let's say it's going to cure a disease that's going to kill thousands of people. Oh, the only way inside of this is with a magical artifact. There is a merchant in town that is selling it, but he only wants the money for it. And it's incredibly expensive and you cannot afford it. How would you what would you do at that point? Well, <laughs> uh, I have said before that I, I have been asked to do Many things that maybe should not have said yes to. Uh, well, perhaps you, Chris, knows a thing or two about the uh, the darker arts. Uh, not not magic, mind. This is street slang. Yes, yes, for uh, you know thievery. So perhaps I could steal it if Merchant is not paying attention. I am. I'm small and fast. I have. Nimble, nimble fingers, and he wiggles his little pudgy little fingers. Hmm, all right, well, let's let's put a spin on this. Say, you decide to leave the 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 shop to try to find another way of getting money for it. What would you do if, say, ten minutes later, one of your party members that you've been with for a while gives you the item, and you found out that he killed the shopkeeper for it? Oh. Well, is item for getting other item, yes, for for cure of disease? Yes. Oh, it's sad that shopkeeper die, but uh, one, one life or thousands perhaps is better. Mm. Would you turn in? your friend for murder oh mm. no 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 if we if we save others for for greater good then perhaps perhaps not i would i would tell them that they were very bad though and chris nods like this is very serious matter hmm, i see so what is your weapon of choice Oh, uh, my, well, my, my magic or, or my, my crossbow. Yes. And he, uh, he reaches back behind his back and kind of pats his little crossbow that he has on his back. He's, uh, has a light crossbow that is slung on a, uh, on a complicated looking leather sling that is at his back there. Do you like other kobolds? Oh, uh, <laughs> I do not see many kobolds, but yeah, yes, it is. It is nice to to see them when I do, but that is rare. We are not often seen. All right, I have another moral question for you. Um, you know, as adventurers, sometimes when we, we we sometimes come upon situations and we don't have a lot of time to react to them. So, what would happen? if you come up to a house that is on fire and 
in the rubble, there is a human and an orc trapped. You only have time to save one of them. Who would you save? Oh, uh, who, who biggest? Orc is, the orc is the biggest one. Oh, I probably have to get human then. I am not very strong. Ah, so you you save the human because in in your mind, um, you wouldn't be strong enough to save the orc. No, if orcs, if orc big and human small, I maybe if very lucky, uh, could pull human. But I, he kind of pats his little forearms here, and they are obviously a little a little on the uh, on the average to to uh, scholarly side. Let's let's say. Ah, so. Okay, then. <sighs> hmm. I think that's all the questions I have, unless my associate has another one. Um, I'm curious, are you the uh, a generic kind of kobold who all learned draconic, or are you the kind of kobold that has never actually uh, uh, met a dragon? Oh, uh... Well, uh, I have never met Dragon before, but but we we all, my tribe, we knew Draconic. I I I speak and and read it. Um, but <laughs> well, uh, common is second language. Yes, I I pick it up over time, and uh, well. He um, is blushing profusely and basically like hides his nose behind his little paws, and um, and he says, "I, I can't read common." <laughs> ah, I see. So you just speak it. Yes, as good as I can. I try. <laughs> I know things. Uh, maps. I can read maps. Maps easy. Just little symbols, squiggles. Not too hard. Numbers. I know some numbers. But, uh, that is all. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's all my questions. Uh, yes, I believe I have all of the notes necessary. Perfect. Thank you so much, so much, uh, Ukriz. Yes, yes. Uh, Ukris rises up out of his seat, and he does like again, like the multiple bow thing as he backs away, and then uh, he says, "Thank you for opportunity. Perhaps Ukris will hear from you later." Yes, yes, yes. And then he uh, scampers out of wherever our setting was. Okay, that's perfectly fine. All right, awesome. Um, appreciate you taking the time to uh, uh, pop over here. And... Yeah, for sure. Yep, uh, unless you have any other uh, questions for uh, me or Fee. Um, I mean, we're going to have to get ready for the next one, but that wasn't for a bit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm all good there. Uh, the Out of curiosity, the game would be running on Fridays, right? Like Friday-ish. Yes. Friday okay, yes. all right. Just wanted to double check and make sure. Yeah. Yep, Friday evenings. All right. Nice. Yeah, because I, I have. Think, I think about an hour and a half from now. 